Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to read a tidbit of an article I saw on the internet. And I want you to hear where Halloween really was derived from. Yeah. Those of you who think it's just a little harmless day of play. From about 1500 BC, the much feared Druids looked them up on the internet. The, or the origin of Druids. The much feared Druids were in power in Western Europe. This was a sect of priests, both male and female. Their cruelty and barbarity in the kind of magic they practiced far outweighed their scholarship. People were used as sacrifices and were flogged tortured and sexually molested before they were killed by having their hearts torn out while they were still alive. Happy Halloween! Oh, let me keep reading. Their sexual organs were cut off and conserved to be used in black masses. Sometimes they were skinned. Oh, what fun. And the skin was used in different rites. The Druids taught that on Halloween, ghosts, spirits, fairies, witches, and elves came out to harm people. From this terrible satanic religion comes the use of witches, ghosts, and cats in today's celebration of Halloween. The Druids had an autumn festival called Samhain which marked the end of summer. It was a fertility festival thanking the spirits, the demons, for the crops of that year. During the night, black masses were conducted. The custom of using leaves, pumpkins, and cornstalks as Halloween decorations come from the Druid Festival. Now doesn't just, that doesn't just, woo, 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 doesn't that just warm the cockles of your heart? You wonder why a lot of us Christians won't have anything to do with Halloween. Whew. I'm telling you, something to think about. Now, are you going trick-or-treating this Halloween? Hmm? You going to get all dressed up in your costumes? Well, you go right on ahead if you dare.